All right, y'all, so yesterday, we did a video on the origins of trick-or-treating. Today, we're gonna do a video talking about the origins of the jack-o'-lantern, all right? So, we're gonna read a story. This is gonna talk about how it first came about, and it's from this folklore story, all right? So, let's dive in and let's, let's find out the origins behind this thing. All right, it says, long ago, in a small village in Ireland, lived a drunkard named Stingy Jack. He wasn't held in very high regard by the, by the town folk. One even, Satan overheard stories of the devious deeds of Jack and decided he must have this fellow soul, right? It says Jack may have been stingy, but he was, a, he was quite clever. When Satan came down to collect his soul, he successfully made the case that the least Satan could do was allow him to live a final drink as his favorite pub at his favorite pub after which stingy jack left satan on the hoof for a tab jack suggested that he turn himself into a coin to pay the bill and that and uh and they would be off on their journey to the underworld satan was fooled when jack took the coin and put it in his pocket alongside a crucifix thereby trapping satan in his pocket the devil begged and pleaded and only upon agreeing to leave Jack alone for 10 years, he was released. Exactly 10 years later, Satan found Jack stumbling home from the pub. With, with a heavy high sigh, Jack looked at the devil knowing full well that, that he intended to drag him into hell. Jack made the request of Satan to climb, uh, to climb a nearby apple tree to get him a final snack before the journey um, southbound. Satan apparently uh, still not as clever as Jack climbed the apple tree. While Satan was climbing the tree, Jack carved a cross into the trunk, uh, thereby trapping Satan up in the tree. The devil begged and pleaded, and only upon agreeing to never take Jack's soul to hell, he was released. Many years later, when Stingy Jack took, off his, uh, took his last breath and died, St. Peter refused him entrance into heaven for all his evil deeds and Satan refused him entrance into hell due to, to, due to their contract. And one final parting gift, Satan um, give Jack an ember ablaze with hellfire. Alas, Jack was stuck roaming the earth with only a carved to, uh, turnip glowing with hellfire to light his way when Stingy Jack ceased to be. Jack of the Lantern began on Halloween night Keep an eye out for a restless, wandering soul every time you see a jack-o'-lantern, for it just may be the hellfire glow from Jack's lantern. Bro, that is the dark origin story behind the jack-o'-lantern. So look, obviously we know this is not biblical, right? Because Satan does not control hell, and I don't know who this, this St. Peter dude is, but it's not God, all right? So, um, that's not biblical, but the point I'm making from this whole thing is the origins is about a guy making an agreement with the devil, okay? And literally, you having this jack-o'-lantern by your doorstep or in your house, you're legally, you're literally giving the devil legal right to access your life, regardless of your ignorance, right? Ignorance meaning not knowing, regardless of your ignorance. You're opening the door, and spirits can come inside of your home and attach themselves to you because of that. It's very demonic, man, and we have to, it, it's like once you start reading these stories and you see the pagan roots of all of this stuff, man, you're gonna be walking around like everything is demonic. Everything is truly demonic. Like Satan runs this world and he be having folks deceived. So look, man, share this video with somebody, man, and do not get peer pressured into going trick-or-treating or having this jack-o'-lantern at your house. I purposely posted these videos like a month before Halloween so the seed can marinate, all right? Somebody else can come and water it and God gonna give that increase. As always, I love y'all, man. God bless.